32 h and Magnum versus 380 ACP. Today what I'm testing is Critical Defense. You know, I've ran that Critical Defense 380 through a few different tests here and there, but I've never actually ran it through the chronograph or through the ballistic box. So I think it's a really good idea to, to test that to see how it does. 32 h and Magnum, Critical Defense as well. That's an 80 grain FTX. I've tested that in the past and it did really well. But I want to test it again. It's always good to test it again and see what kind of consistency, if we're keeping that consistency. And they test it the same day that I'm testing it against something else because we might get a little bit different results in different weather conditions. So we got a 90 grain 380 ACP FTX versus an 80 grain 32 H&R Magnum. Pretty close in bullet weights there. Pretty close in energy between the 32 H&R Mag versus the 380 ACP. That's why I get a lot of requests to test it against each other. So we're gonna go through the chronograph and see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. And then as always, we're gonna go through the juggernaut box, which contains a one and three quarter inch pack of bologna covered by four layers of down, followed by one quarter inch medium density fiber board. That kind of simulates ribs or sternum, the resistance a bullet would have against a human body. And to water jugs to catch these bullets and how this normally compares to ballistics gels. Typically anything I get in the back of jug three, where you get a little bit of a dent out the back, that's equivalent to about 15 inches of ballistics gel. And back of jug four, that's equivalent to about 18 inches. Back of jug two, 12 inches. So it's pretty much three inches each after we go through the baloney pack. So let's get started with the test and see how we do with the critical defense 32 H&R mag versus 380 auto. Let's get started. All right, first up is the 380 ACP. Seems to feed real well. We'll see what we get for velocity and accuracy. I'm about five yards from the target. About four yards from the chronograph, so let's see what we get. Eight thirty-two. Eight fifty-five. Eight forty-five. Eight forty-two. Eight thirty-four. Really consistent. Not a lot of recoil. So I would say the consistency is really great for that round and it fed real well, which is sometimes an issue for this LCP to feed ammunition. That fed it quite well. Let's see how the 32 H&R Magnum compares. 32 H&R Mag, we'll see how this does. Nine forty-five. Nine seventy-seven. 958, 971, 976. So typically I can group a little bit tighter with this particular revolver. That might just be me today. But we had consistent velocity. I would say recoil is a little bit less than the LCP in this particular firearm, but it wasn't significantly less um, compared to something like a 32 Smith & Wesson Long. There's a little bit here, a little bit less than a standard pressure. Uh, 38 special, but not bad at all. Let's hit the ballistic box and see how they compare to each other. All right, 380 ACP, critical defense. We'll see what we get to the ballistic box. 9.30. All right, not too much splashback. I made a nice centered shot here, so let's see what we got. All right, here's the baloney pack. This is kind of interesting. I see a, actually a, quite a large hole and a lot of damage. I actually see the plug right here in the meat. So the plug stopped in there, so it shed that plug right away. And what we have through the baloney pack, it kind of turned it into mush and a much larger than diameter hole through the fiber board. That almost always indicates expansion. So let's see what we got in water jugs. All right, jug one has a massive hole in here. I've never seen anything quite like this. Big old star pattern hole entrance. A lot of fiber board in there. I can actually see part of the bullet. This is weird. So we have it a dent in jug three. And this bullet drastically drifted to the right. And the, the core of the bullet is on the table right here. There's no jacket. 
see no indication of jacket in the box so to be honest I don't know where the jacket went but the core has a really big expansion that's relatively impressive we only had equivalent to 12 inches of ballistics gel penetration through this medium and it drifted quite a bit so definitely a good round if you're worried about over penetration let's see how the 32 h and r magnum compares and i decided to look in jug one and sure enough the jacket is in jug one so it shed its jacket immediately after hitting that fiber board so well, that's a good or bad thing. That's for you to decide, but that's what we got. So now we'll move on to the 32H&R Mag. All right, 32H&R Magnum. We'll see how this compares. There's a lot of baloney damage at the back of this. This is impressive looking. All right, the first thing to note is I did feel a lot more water splash back hitting me. So that's something to be said for the power of that round. And this is pretty close to what I see with a lot of 9mm rounds. So for the energy we were working with, not bad. A little larger than diameter hole through the fiber board. So let's see what we got in water jugs. First jug has that same star pattern. Like it's already expanded before it hits the first jug. There's debris in there. And it looks like the plug and the jacket are in there. The plug is chewed up, the jacket is peeled back perfectly. Jug 2 has an impact, and again, just like the 380, it's drifting a little bit to the right. And I can see the bullet in the box, and it did the exact same thing. It significantly drifted to the right and exited out the back of jug two. And we have expansion. Doesn't look like as high of a percentage of an expansion as the 380 ACP, but we saw a lot more damage in that baloney meat because of the little bit higher velocity. So comparing these two, we can see right here, these two rounds are extraordinarily comparable. Not just for energy, but for penetration, for expansion, for damage. Very, very comparable. Now, when I compare the rounds themselves for felt recoil, I'm going to have to say that the 380 had less felt recoil in general. And then the LCP, that recoil was only just a little bit more than what the felt recoil was in that 32 h r Magnum. But because that, that revolver is twice the weight, we can obviously call that that the, that particular 380 has a lot less recoil than that 32 h r Mag. If we put this 380 in a pistol that weighed the same as that LCR revolver, it would have less recoil. So both of these are they're not really powerful rounds. They're backed off a little bit in their energy there, which oftentimes is a good thing because they're more shootable. So this is what you get today between the 32 h and R mag and 380 ACP critical defense. Relatively impressive results. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.